We're going to continue to monitor the air quality around the Bay Area for today. Also watching out for this because of the high winds and the low humidity in parts of the North Bay. There is a high fire danger and then these areas that are highlighted in red are under a red flag warning. Uh, we'll see once again the potential of the high fire conditions as the gusts reach 35 to 45 miles per hour. And this is for elevations above 1000 feet with that low humidity. At the same time, we have fires burning farther to the north. The complex of fires sparked by lightning is still continuing to burn and the smoke is coming directly down into the Bay Area. And we're seeing it basically concentrating in the North Bay and along the coastline right now, but that will start to move back in. Here we are at three o'clock this evening and we see the smoke just off the coast and around San Francisco, but that's going to be moving in once again in time for kickoff this evening. So air quality may get a little bit worse and that's once again something that we'll continue to monitor before we see things improving tomorrow afternoon. As far as temperatures, it feels so nice outside. This is the last full day of summer and these temperatures are cooler than normal. Only headed up for 77 in Fremont and, and Dublin as well as Hayward reaching 77, Napa today reaching 75 and we'll see temperatures in the low to mid 70s tomorrow as well. Once again, the air quality should improve with that smoke starting to clear out by tomorrow afternoon and then on Saturday it looks beautiful and we're keeping the same mild weather for the first full day of fall. Oakland will see a high of 71 and then we look ahead to see OK, it's fall. When will we see some rain? And it could be as early as late Monday into Tuesday. There will be the potential of an atmospheric river hitting the Pacific Northwest and some of that moving into Northern California by late Monday. Hopefully that will help out with those fires that are burning farther to the north with some showers coming in and there could be a quick round of showers on early Tuesday morning before things clear out once again and then we'll be watching more rain just to our north. As far as what the models show right now, the potential of the North Bay getting the highest rainfall totals anywhere from about a half to three quarters of an inch of rainfall in parts of northern Sonoma, Mendocino and Lake Counties. Much of the rest of the Bay Area could see anywhere from about a quarter to half inch of rain. So that's something. And then we take a look at our forecast for the weekend. Fall begins late tomorrow night and our inland temperatures hit 80 degrees and repeat that on Saturday for the first full day of fall. And San Francisco will continue to see temperatures in the upper 60s. Watching out for that smoke today, but things will improve starting late tomorrow.